Hello everybody, back again, it's all here for another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. And last time uh, we got here to this little island here, the Private Oasis Island is what it's called. Well, island is in, isn't in its name, but it's Private Oasis. As you can see here, it's got a little house there. This is all privately owned property, so I guess we're trespassing, right? What does the sign say? This is Marie's Cabana. Property of Windfall Island's lovely teacher. Oh god, we remember her. Visitors not welcome. The management. She's got management? <laughs> Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. <laughs> this cabana belongs to the master, and the master alone. You grimy trespassing little scoundrel, away with you. Away, I say. So the waiter on the door talks to us somehow and uh yeah we can't get in here yet anyway um but what we need to do is we're gonna need to shift the wind uh and get up on this little ledge here there we go a ridiculously freddy of course we always have ridiculously freddy huh nice is there any good stuff up here? I could use some bombs after I ran out of bombs last episode. In the middle of a big octo fight. Aha! Oh man. Okay, we got 15 bombs now. Not bad. Alright. So there's a chest up here. And if we open it, we get... A treasure chart. Nice. What a jump. Now in this pool, there should be some stuff for us to pick up. Yeah. There's like rupees and hearts and stuff just randomly scattered about in here. I think it's random at least. Oh, there's a heart. Hey. Oh man, it's getting dark. Why does it get dark? Alright. Next, uh, let's head back west. We don't need to go... Uh... Why did I change the wind if I have the swift sail? I am dumb. It's okay. Now we have an indicator of which way to go. Alright. Let's see. I'm just changing my uh, gamepad over to the map. Oh god, no! No! Okay. You know what? We're gonna make it daytime. So that we have good sailing music, at least. Alright, now let's go. So we're gonna sail, I think, two quadrants over. We need to get the Cyclops Reef. And, uh... There'll be another, uh... Another... What's it called? Watchtower thingy. What are they called? I don't know. The platform things above the sea. Yeah, I think they should call platforms. So we're gonna go. Um, and we do need to start collecting uh, um, joy pendants again. Because I am dumb and I thought 20 was gonna be enough. And I don't know why I thought that. Because we need double that. We need 40 joy pendants in total. So, yeah. Whoa, hello. No, 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 don't set sail. Get out. Whoa. Why are you shooting so much? Is this one gonna shoot me right when I'm in front of it? Did we already come to this one? I don't think we already came to this one. I haven't recorded this in about a week and a half, okay? So. Alright, so, oh, I already have my my uh, grappling hook out. There we go. So we need all the joy pendants. Yeah, we already came here. Look at this. What? It's okay. It got us some joy pendants. Hello? Okay. So let's climb back down. 
and we'll uh, we'll head on to our next destination. Quit shooting, jeez. You know what? I'm gonna shoot you. How about that? You done? Huh? Man, it's getting dark again. That's the only thing I don't like about the song of passing. It makes it midday, so it gets dark fairly quickly. Okay. Uh, where is Cyclops Reef? Head north. Hello. So me changing the thing respawned the cannons. Cool. Alright. There should be another platform here, though. This is Cyclops Reef. This is not Cyclops Reef. Where are we? I'm lost. Oh, this is Cyclops Reef. Hey. That's Stonewatcher Island. Cyclops Reef. Hello. Get away from me. There should be another platform. There it is. I went to the wrong quadrant. Silly me. Alright, now that we've wasted enough time, jeez. Alright, let's get on this platform here. Okay, get on there, Link, please. Link, please. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Get our get our joy pendants here, man. My commentary is dead. You can tell I haven't recorded in like ten days. I'm out of practice. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so in this chest we get a golden feather. Nice. So again, we need to start collecting of these, because we're going to need those later. What do the sea hats give us if we hit them with a grappling hook? I don't think that we can get them close enough to hit them with a grappling hook. But, oh well. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, can we do a cool backflip down into the sea? Ah, that would have been cool if Coral was right there and we could have just landed on him. Oh man, that would have been sweet. Alright, let's keep going north to that little tall thing there that we can see off in the distance. Man, it's dark again. Oh, well, we'll just sail through the darkness this time. How about that? <laughs> right, so here. Ooh, hello. Just spawning out of nowhere. Cool. So here we don't have we don't have a chart of this location. So, oh, hello. Oh man, our last bait. Oh no. Should have bought some more bait. Alright, fish shaman. Fishman, tell us where we are. Okay, <clears throat> I'm out of practice with these voices. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Tingle Island. Oh, baby. I would tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to pay for his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. That's all the info I got to offer, blah blah blah. Put that I'm off! Alright. So this is Tingle Island. If we remember from our first visit to Windfall Island. Um We freed a guy from the jail named Tingle and he gives a tingle bottle thing. 
we uh if we climb up this, he should be up here at the top. The top. Oh, there's a single bottle up here, hey. Hello. Oh, does he not do a noise? Oh no, what voice am I getting? Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. That's not even a good voice. <laughs> what should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. <laughs> Next time, bring me one of my favorites. It's yours. I haven't seen it. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me here at Tingle Island again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Yeah, wonderful fairy magic makes it spin. Heave, ho. Oh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. But this guy has a bro has another brother. If that guy could just come spin this thing instead of me. Heave, ho. Um, you have a tingle bottle, do you not? Uh, no. If you're really not a fan of it, do not worry about such things. A tingle bottle, it is sort of complicated, I suppose. No, no, do not go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it is quite amusing, the tingle bottle, I mean. But no, really, I would not expect you to. Heave. Ho. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So let's get off of here. Somewhere in this quadrant is uh, a big octo we can fight. We need to look for seagulls. Where are the seagulls? There's like fog out there. It's hard to make it seagulls visible. Okay, let's just sail around, see what happens. Ah. Uh, where is the big octo? I hear seagulls. Hello, seagulls. There's fishmen. Uh, seagulls, direct me to your brothers so I can fight me a big octo. Oh god. We're almost out of the quadrant here. There should be a big octo around here somewhere. Maybe. Seagulls, please. Aha, over here. Aha! Oh, I was gonna equip bombs. I am dumb. I have 11 bombs, and it's a 12 eyed big octo. Lovely. Luckily, bombs take out the eyes in one shot, so if we don't miss any shots, we should take out 11 eyes, and then you can take the last one out with a boomerang. Oh, missed that one. Great. So we have to take out two eyes with the boomerang. Oh my god, quit moving, guy. Okay. Wow, how did that miss? What? Please. Oh, and I'm out of bombs. Beautiful. Um... Okay. Come on. Let's take it out. Man, I need more bombs. Seriously. If we get too close, he'll swallow us. And then... And that's not good. We need to take out this guy. Okay, we took out an eye. I heard that. So, do you only have three eyes left? Four, five. He's got five eyes left? Okay, took that one out. Okay. It's hard to tell how many eyes he has left still. Is it just the one? Oh, there's another one there. Oh, he's gonna swallow us. Man! Yeah, he'll spit us back out. Where do we land? Oh, we're still in the same quadrant. I think. 
Looks like it. Yeah. I was looking at my guy. Go away. All right. You know what? Let's. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Where's my beetle chart? There we go. What's the closest beetle one? North. Because there's the rock spire one, but that one sells different things. Will he sell us bombs now? He should sell us bombs, right? At all his locations, I guess. Alright, let's go buy some bombs. And we'll take on this big octo again. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's Beetle on the other side of this island. We'll buy some bait too, because we need some. Oh man, I landed right on this little barrel. Nice. Oh, hello. Pirates sold me some bombs for cheap. <laughs> well, yeah, they didn't have any use for them anymore. Have a bashful look. Oh man, I missed his text. Why? Alright, anyway, uh, let's buy, like, three things of bait, and then we'll buy bombs. I think if we buy the bombs, it'll just give us a full refill of our bombs. Maybe. What's this? 30 bombs, yeah. Yes. we fit more bait into our bag? I think so. Buy one more. 21 points. Nice. Okay. Now let's go take on this big octo again. Okay. Wow. Missed right off the bat. Beautiful. God. Wow, how am I missing that? Okay. Oh, that one hit. What? Oh, I hit his tentacle. Please. Okay. Tentacle, get out of the way. Wait, I can L target? Oh no, I still have to aim, I think. Oh wait, no, you can't. I didn't know you could L target here. What? What is this nonsense? I've never done this before in my life. L targeting with the the cannon? What? Okay. That and I think he has one more eye left. Oh, that was a bad shot. Wow, quit moving, guy. Alright, we got him, finally. Oh man, this episode's going. Needs to come to an end soon. Alright, but, uh, take out the big octo. And he leaves a shining spot in the ocean. So we'll uh, put away the cannon first of all. I'm gonna go here. Oops. Salvage, please. And what did the big octo leave for us in this deep sea chest? Hey, piece of heart. One more for the A counter. And cool boomerang shot. Can it come back already, please? Because this thing's gonna bump me. Yep. Go away. Alright. So let's head north where we need to go next. I should have known that's where the next uh, beetle ship was. This is where we need to go next, anyway. But uh, yeah. We'll head there, and then we'll call it an episode. So we didn't get a whole lot done this episode, but we got a new piece of heart, so that's good enough. Alright. 
So we're here, and we'll call it. So that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.